I'm Rob and uh, this is then part two uh, how to build uh, the saw uh, stop lock system a few points of attention every miter saw is different so uh, your attachment for uh, the rod is going to be always a little bit different maybe and uh, you have to see that uh, for yourself how you make an uh, attachment or a block of aluminium or a block of wood what you attach to the side of the machine so that you can insert the thread rod and in this case it's uh, M8, metallic 8 with a uh, contra nut but it's for every uh, mitre saw uh, a little bit different well that's then the attachment it goes 6-7 uh, centimeters through the machine until it ends up in this wall so I made a, a little bit of a blind uh, center hole so that the rod will catch with his tip and ground the tip on the on the rod will catch in here the center hole and then you lock it off in here it's quite easy this is then uh, the, this is then the tip I ground it on the bench grinder that's then the hole what you drill in here with the cut thread in it because this has to be really uh, uh, in line with the table otherwise uh, it's, uh, it's off and it doesn't work now this is then the end of the rod I took a short one, I made a short one for short pieces but you can take it with us, they sell it uh, even uh, in one meter length so you can put also one in from one meter of one meter and this is then let me see if you can see that thread uh, bushing and this one you screw it in a way halfway 50-50 on the thread rod like this and you come with another thread with another thread rod and you screw it in well this is then a close up of the system uh, so the only thing what I had to make was then the block this is hardwood and uh, you really have to saw this block square because later on you have to drill those holes in the drill press I think uh, because they have to be really parallel and in a good height so if you don't drill them parallel it can be stuck on the table because it works then in an angle so it has to be uh, perfectly parallel with the table that's crucial furthermore here is a uh, thread in I cut some thread in it in this uh, hole and that is then uh, the attachment uh, bolts to fix it yeah, to secure it in place and I drilled it straight I tapped it uh, I cut the, the thread straight in the wood but you can do it also maybe with uh, a metal bushing with thread in it and then glue it but I did it straight because it's hardwood and it works uh, pretty well you know I wouldn't go uh, too thin in the rod this is then uh, metric 8 8 millimeter or maybe uh, you do it with 10 millimeter but 6 millimeter uh, is uh, in a way too fine and it starts to flex and to bend also for transport you know if you get a little uh, angle uh, in the in the rod this block won't move anymore uh, then another thing uh, these holes what I drilled in here through the block through and through I made them uh, half a millimeter bigger than the rods so it moves fairly easy and by pressing it in the center like this from the hole the length it will always be pressed this rod and this rod against the back side of the wood so it will always follow straight well here you see then a close up of the block with the holes through and through and uh, they are really uh, parallel uh, with the sides so uh, it will move uh, fairly easy and here you have then the secure hole with the uh, M6 straight in the in the hardwood well what I still forgot to tell you is this this setup is usable on the left side of the machine as well on the right side of the machine 
So this hole in here with the center hole in the back wall is done on both sides of the machine. Well, if you do, uh, if you cut out these layups in here, take care that you do it really uh, this cut out. You do it really then on the right side of the machine. And when you do this cut out, do that then on the left side of the machine. Because this attachment point, you do it out of hand and there might be a little difference. So uh, you have to uh, do that uh, both on the left and the right side uh, independently. Well, another uh, handy addition, especially uh, when you work on the floor or uh, in the garden on the floor, is an uh, adjustable uh, height block. This block, uh, you can uh, adjust it on a certain height to lean beams or planks of wood or whatever on it, whatever you have to cut. And uh, it's uh, adjustable. So I made it uh, with the pencil stripe. If you put it on the height of the pencil stripe, it's exactly in height with the table, with table height of the machine. And uh, I can go, uh, let's say, uh, a three quarter of an inch uh, down and I can go a bit more up. So if, if you work on uh, an unequal uh, surface, you can put it uh, really uh, straight in angle with your table. And uh, it's done uh, from uh, plywood, in this case uh, 18 mil or three quarter. And uh, it contains uh, a slot and uh, a bolt with a wing nut. So you can secure it by hand, the wing nut. And if you secure the wing nut by hand, it can have a force of uh, 24 kilos. As uh, I think 50 pounds or so. Uh, if you want to have it uh, a bit more heavy for heavier loads, uh, apply two slots. So then uh, you double it and then it's suitable uh, if you do it with two slots, it's suitable for 48 kilos or 100 pounds. And then the 100 pounds is just by force of your hand. You can put the pliers on it, but I think uh, you wreck it. But if you do it just by hand, that's enough for uh, to carry uh, 24 kilos. Yeah, or in this case, then uh, 50 pounds. Two base plates. And uh, normally it is uh, screwed down on, on a workbench or a workmate or whatever by uh, four of these holes. And this is then the foot of the machine. For me, it was not sufficient because I work many times on uneven floors. So then I choose for uh, two pieces of hardwood under it. And uh, they are attached with uh, some sort of uh, engine mounting. And I'll show you. Uh, it's a little bit of a bigger one. It's this device. It's rubber. And then uh, the thread ends, they are separated and they are vulcanized uh, on the rubber. So th this flexes. And that gives, of course, on the floor, it gives a, a flexible adjustment. It will adjust flexible to the floor. It will set itself uh, to the floor surface. So uh, also to clamp it down on the workbench with a clamp, it's much more easy than to clamp this. For me, this is too small and uh, it's metal. This is much better, much more uh, rigid. A little help. Uh, to drill a really uh, straight hole, especially when you have to drill in the machine for the rod, is uh, a mark on your drill. And that's here in the top or wherever on your drill. So I place uh, in this case uh, a spade bit, a spade drill. I place it uh, in, the in the vise, in the workbench. And with a self-leveling uh, laser, I put it in line with the vertical laser and then uh, the machine on top of it. And then you get a line on the machine and I mark it in the back side of the machine. So when I put the drill bit on the material and I put the laser liner on the workbench or a bit further away, I can always 
see then horizontal with the horizontal laser line, I can see then this mark. And if the bit, the tip of the bit of the drill and the mark of your machine is in line, you know that you drill horizontally. So horizontal, you can't go wrong. The only thing what you ha still have to eyeball, and you can do that maybe with a square angle uh, on top of it, is uh, the direction to left and right. So high and low in the end of your machine that you already controlled by the laser line and then left and right coordinate of your drill. You can do it uh, by uh, following a straight piece of wood on the, to on the top of the machine. Well, I used it already uh, for uh, a number of years and uh, for me uh, it was uh, or it is quite successful. And that's why I thought, well, uh, maybe I can share that with you people. Maybe uh, you can do, can use it or do something with it uh, in the future. But uh, I want to leave it with this. Anyway, uh, thanks uh, for watching. And maybe till the next time. Bye bye.